Oh, thank you, Zach. I'm gonna try to get up here in the shade. There we go. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. You know, uh, generally when you're the last comedian, you're the headliner. But usually it's nice when there's some heads in the audience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so maybe I'm just a liner. <laughs> That's just made up right now. You don't have to laugh. Okay, first off to start off with, I'm going to play my tongue drum. And people think, what is a tongue drum? Do you play it with your tongue? I go, no. But the little keys look like tongues. So this is kind of meditative. Let's get in the groove. Let's get in the groove before you guys go smoke pot, okay? I'm right there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you sure? I think so. So uh, anyway, I'm Jay, and I am your 70-year-old, 70-year-old influencer. So for you young folk here, I'm going to tell you what to expect as you get older. Number one, I hope I don't fall off of this, and you know, like people always fall off the stage. Okay, so uh, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is. You know, they told us about wear sunscreen so we don't get wrinkles on our face, but they didn't tell us about the rest of our body. So uh, can you guys see what's going on on my arm? <laughs> don't look at the flap yet. That's another joke. Um, but that's crepey skin. I never heard about crepey skin. And it's really disgusting. And it's all over. And I am using crepe erase, but it's not working. Now, let's go to the flappy skin. This right here. Now, this was very brave of me to play this drum with a sleeveless dress on. Did you did you guys notice it? Did it? Let's see. Does it shake? Anyway, uh, so when you have this going on, you do not ever wave at anybody. No, don't do that. <laughs> If you're at the Chiefs game, don't high five. No, no, no. You could injure some of the people around you, all right? Just a tip. <laughs> it's disgusting. I hate this stuff. And you know, I thought I was having an acid flashback. But, you know, I was seeing colors and wavies and halos. And it was cataracts. Come on. Jeez. Cataracts. <laughs> Thank you. So anyway, uh, yeah, and, uh, you know, sometimes, uh, I don't know if men get this, but look at that guy right there. That. It's disgusting, but it's a, it's a wisdom spot is what they call it. So if you have brown spots, it's your wise. I don't know. And I don't know why you guys aren't finding this funny. But anyway, uh, I digress. I am digressing. You know what? I think this place is pretty cool because I thought when I went to the restroom, I was going to be going to an outhouse and they have an awesome bathroom. It even, the toilet even worked. You know how sometimes you come to these places and it, yeah, anyway, never mind. But I did see tether balls, which I used to love tether balls. And then I kept seeing things running and they're little baby pigs. So it, it is a cool place. I'm glad they're having us here. And, um, but you know, the other day I planted some flowers and they were called Armenian joystick and Cox comb. I thought, well, who in the hell is naming these flowers? <laughs> Are you ready? Are we going to laugh? <laughs> Petophiles. <laughs> I just love that jump so much. You laughed. <laughs> and then, so let's talk about spiders. 
So years ago, I was painting my room, and you know how you put the plastic down on the floor? So I'm painting away, and I look down, and oh my God, there was a spider as big as my hand underneath the plastic. And I freaked out, and I, I put a, a, a big can of paint on top of it so it couldn't run, and then I ran to the phone and called one of my friends to come over and kill it for me. So he came over, and I go in there, and he goes, where is it, where is it? And I go, look, you're not going to believe this. So he got a shoe, and then I picked up the paint can, and he went, smack, smack, smack. <laughs> it was actually one of those Halloween rings spiders <laughs> and he says oh you're never gonna live this he says you're never gonna live this one down and i go you're the one who killed it <laughs> but it was so scary it really was and, and so who during i guess it's pandemic i guess it's pandemic but i have not applied for jobs online Excuse me. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, now I do say I'm gonna do this. Comedians are doing this all the time. Look at this. I'm gonna look really cool. But don't this can't move. Okay. <laughs> so so what was I talking about? It's going to be funny. Oh, yeah. I applied for a job online. And I just wanted one of those simple jobs, like stuffing envelopes at home. And it came up on my feed. Now, how many of you have applied online? Okay. I hadn't. So I applied for the stuffing envelopes at home job. And the next day, this is what pops up. They need a neurosurgeon at Stormont Vale. <laughs> I thought, I can do that. <laughs> so I just finished the first week because my sewing skills came in really handy. But I got fired because I, they didn't like that I cross-stitched my name into the brains. <laughs> That's a new joke. I'm working on yeah, it. Yeah, keep working on it. I'm working on it. I think there's something there, though, don't you? Sewing, yeah. sewing, near, no, okay. And, um... <laughs> you heard that. Plastic surgeon. <laughs> Yeah. Let's try again. <laughs> Let's try that again, plastic <laughs> surgeon. Yeah. Okay. 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 So anyway, um, <clears throat> Danny, you might have to. Um, you might have. <laughs> so, my <laughs> granddaughter. Okay. I have to digress. I was 69 last year because there's no kids here, so I'm saying it. I was 69 last year, and so for my birthday, my husband and I. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god uh, okay thank you thank you guys um so anyway it was i was 69 and so my husband and i thought why don't we try that position just for fun and it was for a few minutes but then we got all tangled up in our CPAP machines <laughs> You know, you can just imagine it was, yeah. I, I, I just saying, you know, we're, you know, talk about memories and getting old. So my granddaughter says to me, "Oh my God, duh! I can't believe you do that 69 joke." And I said, "Oh my God, duh! I'm 70 now, and I don't even have a position anymore." <laughs> Sorry. What's your name? Oh. What'd she say? Shikezi. I like that, Shikezi. Thank you for being here. And you've been such a good audience member. Uh, <laughs> and, um, oh my God. Danny, come on, give me a prompt. Do I need to, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going. I've got tractors. I've got. I thought some adults were coming this way, but they must not like that last joke. And um, you guys, pro what's what? What's one of my jokes? Um, Roger, what's the good one I do? 
Oh my God. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I am, and this is, okay, really, just hang tough with me for a minute. Just hang tough with me just for a minute because I do have some good stuff. Um, but what is it? I am on my third marriage. Um, Danny, we just celebrated 25 years. Yes. Yes. So I'm married to an, I'm married to a white man too. <laughs> the, the most the most racial uh, relationship I was in um, okay, I want to word this right because it's kind of funny uh, was he was he had uh, he had some Native American in him so then I felt like well then if we have sex, then I have Native American in me too. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So that's my, that's been my, that's, yeah, that's been my only racial relationship. Um, I guess is that I don't know. Maybe that's wrong to say. Um, and I got it, it. I have so much material, you guys. I had a full 20 minutes. And um, how about some other old people stuff? Oh, I know what. Here's another thing that happens. Now look at my knees. This is why I wear this dress. So look at my knees. What do I pull my dress up too high? Look at my knees. So what happens is foreskin starts going over the top of your knees. Can you see it? See it? It looks like foreskin. And then it also comes up in your eyelids. So so if I'm putting makeup on, it's like I have foreskin and it grows down over your eyelids. And pretty soon you can't see unless you go have them fixed. But that's another thing to look forward to. And the only cure for these type of issues, and do not take offense, madam, that the only cure for these issues are three-quarter length sleeves and capris <laughs> <laughs> that's rude isn't it <laughs> that's your friend that's my friend and i actually said to myself i said to myself i can't tell my capri joke because my friend is here but you know uh things are things are going haywire but i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell now listen uh shikizi shikazi um let me get <laughs> so <laughs> my shade don't let me please catch me you will catch me when i go off with the shade <laughs> oh, you're not a safe crowd so anyway i recently adopted a kitty and her name is Sugar, and I love Sugar Kitty so much. But my husband and my two dogs hate her, hate her. So I told them, I just told them and the dogs, I sat them all down and I said, listen, until you're nice to Sugar Kitty, I, and you know, they, I'm not sleeping in the bedroom with you guys. You guys sleep in there, and I'm sleeping in the other bedroom with Sugar Kitty, and nobody's getting any pussy. <laughs> I can't help it. I know. I know. I know. We're probably not going to be friends. And, I, and it's Sunday. I know. And you. And I made fun of your caprice. I know. God. <laughs> and you know, this is really. Um, and it's really hard. It's. It's just really hard. I, I really apologize for my set because I'm usually much more. Pro I'm more professional than this. Okay, Roger, thank you. I like my support. I like my support of comedians. I really do. And I'm telling you, you killed it, Pat. Your song, your songwriting is just really good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so anyway, I think that's really, I wish, don't you, can't you think of anything? <laughs> oh, hearing. Hearing. Another thing. Oh, my God. Uh, hearing aids. So once you enter into this age group, and sometimes it's a little younger, is uh, one of you is going to lose your hearing, right? And, and I'm sorry if you lose your hearing because you were in the war or something. I don't know. This is not for that type of hearing loss. This is for old, turning old, 
and not hearing and then not wearing your hearing aids because you end up just wanting to kill the other person and my husband knows this and the other day I said would you please bring me I, my, my cup of tea in there would you just bring me that cup of tea for me it has a couple of tea bags in it I said tea bags so he comes in with this little coffee cup and I said what's that and he goes well you said you wanted a cup with two spoons in it and I said I did not and then he says well you need to enunciate and then I said you need to shut up and then we get in these big fights so that's another thing that happens as you age you guys know you do you, any of because I don't know it's an ongoing problem and I don't know what the hell is going to happen when I lose my hearing <laughs> Oh, oh, she already here's, has. oh, here's my, oh no, here's my, okay, this is my last, I have not lost my hearing, and also they, then they, they start doing that passive aggressive stuff, and they start blaming you for them not hearing, okay, so don't put up with that, you just say shut up, that's all you can do, but listen to this, and another thing that happens is what, what age did manufacturers of packaging decide what age that nobody can open anything anymore okay i don't know maybe i don't know how old everybody is i'm just yeah i'm just kind of using between 65 and 70 it starts hitting you i cannot open a bag of chips i can't take the toothpaste cap off i can't uh unscrew that you know like the like taking the bottle of water I, look at this i can't handle this <laughs> i can't um I can't, uh, what's some other stuff thing we run into? You know, you can't open anything. You gotta, we gotta get scissors, and then we have all these contraptions that unscrew it and unscrew it. And um, so, what's my punchline? Um, what's my punchline on that? Damn, <laughs> I have a really funny punchline, hang on. Anyway, you, we, oh, oh, this is the punchline. So, we have, we have actually, and haven't we done it, we actually have hired we have a caretaker and she's with the untwisted and that's all she does is come to our house and untwist everything and open everything for us <laughs> it's true it's true it's true and luckily Medicare pays for it <laughs> and you know what that's all I got my mouth is dry I can't say anything anymore but thank you for being patient with me because it really was fun to be up here. And I was really trying some new stuff. So thank you for your patience.